Hello and welcome. I will give an overview of the new US Geographic State Heat Map Excel template in this video. You can find a link for the specific template under the Premium Solutions section on the right sidebar on inzara.blogspot.com. So this Excel template is a very simple Excel template, very easy to use. It helps you create geographic heat maps at the state level for 50 states of the United States. As you can see in this picture, this is what you will be able to create instantly using your own data. This template has been tested and built in Excel for Windows in versions 2007, 2010, and 2013. It has not been tested in the any other version of Excel. The Excel template provides you an easy way to create instant heat maps within Excel. It allows you to print and save it as PDFs. And you can also copy the heat map image and paste it in other applications such as PowerPoint or Word. The template can accept states names in full names as well as in abbreviations. It can accommodate up to five different numeric fields at one time, and then you can choose any one of those to display on the map. By default, the template creates gradient scale heat map, such as the one you see here, but you can also modify to create other types of conditional formatting that Excel usually allows. You can download this template by purchasing it through this buy now button on the blog post. You will be able to download the file instantly. An email will also be sent to your email address so that you can download the file later. Now, this blog post has more information about how to use the template. But for this video, we will actually go and do a demo of the template. I have opened the template in Excel 2010. This is what you see when you would open the template. And the on the left, you have your data. And then on the right, you see the heat map image. So this is some sample data that I have provided. And when you start using this template, you can delete this and enter your own data. So let's do that. I'm going to delete all the data that's already in the sample template. I've deleted it. And then I'm also going to delete this information, which actually says which field among these six columns is the state field and which one is the data that we want to display on the map. I'm going to delete, delete it. I have another worksheet open which has some US data. And I'm going to copy this information where I have the abbreviation of the state names and the land area. I'm going to go back to my template and I'm going to right click here, paste as values. So now the information has been pasted and I'm going to now tell Excel that my state field is actually called the state name and if you want to give this name as land area because that's what this is you will just type it there and then you will choose to display land area on the heat map and there you go alaska and texas are the larger states and you can see the smaller states in red the color gradient is chosen as the darkest red will be the smallest number or lowest number and then the darkest green is the highest number. So the darkest green here, for example, Alaska has the largest value among these values. And that's why that is in green and darkest green. And then you can see some of the smaller states here. And that's because they are in red. And that's because they have the really low number because we are plotting the land area. You could also use this to plot any other numeric field. And you can have up to five numeric fields and you can have a state name and as you saw in the sample data your state name doesn't have to be in the first column you can it can be in any for example it can be in this fourth column or fifth column wherever it is but then you will come here and choose which column um, has the state name and then automatically the template will be able to understand that so that's how the template works and it's very very simple to use that's all you have to do 
copy and paste the data, choose the state field, choose the data field, your image gets created instantly. And now if you want to actually use this image, you can either say print, let's go and, and try and printing it. When you go and print, it is, it is preset to print your heat map but then you can also choose ignore print area and now you'll be able to print the entire sheet. Similarly, you can save it as PDF. So I'm going to do save as and I can choose PDF as an option and I will be able to save the PDF. It'll only have the heat map image, but if I want to actually use the entire sheet then i will select this and then say okay and then save the pdf that will allow the pdf to have the data and the heat map in the same pdf another thing you can do is to actually copy the image by right clicking the image and then selecting copy and then you can paste it in any other application that you normally use for example i'm going to bring in an empty presentation this is in powerpoint and I can just paste the image as a picture. And there you go. So now we have a heat map, which you can use for your presentation. This is what it's gonna look like. And to an extent, you can also format the size if you'd like from here. You would go to format, size, and I'm using PowerPoint 2013 here. So the menu might be a little different depending on which version you're using. So I can increase the size of the image if you'd like the image to take a significant portion of your slide. And this is how your heat map would display on the presentation. So now that we talked about how the image can be used in exporting or then or pasting it in other application, let's talk about if you want to change the colors that are displayed here, if you want to change it, you will go to the conditional formatting menu option, choose manage rules, choose sheet map, click on the rule, edit the rule, and here's where you can actually change the colors. For example, I want to choose completely different colors. Then I will say, okay, okay. And now you should see that the colors should be reflected on the map very quickly here. So there you go. This is your heat map using the new colors that you have chosen. Whenever you change the colors, please note that you should change the legend here because the default is darkest red to darkest green. But if you're changing colors like I've done now, please make sure that you update this by coming here and then typing in the new color information. Now, if you're very familiar with Excel, you can even do more conditional formatting here based on this template. So if I would like to do something different with how the states are colored, I can use, go to unhide, I'll unhide the map, then come here and do manage rules, this worksheet and then I would actually select this rule, edit the rule and instead of just changing the colors, I can even do something completely different. For example, if the cell value is between one and 100,000, let's say I want to use purple and then I will create a new rule and then say cell value between 100,001 and 200,000. And I would like to have, let's say blue, another rule, cell value greater than 200 and 200,000. And this I would like to have, let's say, orange. say, okay. So one thing that's very important when you do this is to choose worksheet again, 
and make sure that you copy the original values to all the cells and this is what makes the entire map get the different colors so now that we have done it and i'm saying say okay and you can also already see the colors change here so what we have done here is if the value is between 1 and 100,000 give this color and that's why the smaller states have that color because this is land area data. The medium sized are shown in blue and then the large states are shown in this color. So this is how easy it is to do various kinds of conditional formatting from a state level for the United States. Now I'm going to do a quick wrap up here. So basically this is our Excel template where you can actually enter the data about your states, 50 states in the United States, and then you will choose which of these columns has a state name and then which of these columns has the land area. Please note that the template can accommodate the short codes as well as the full names of states. And then the image gets immediately updated and then you can copy this image and paste it in other applications or you can save it as a PDF, or you can just view it in Excel. And you can also change the colors easily, and you can also do additional conditional formatting very easily. And this template is available to purchase from inzara.blogspot.com, and this blog post has more information about um, how to print and how to save it as a PDF, things that we went through in the video, but there are screenshots and instructions available as well. If you have any questions on this template, please feel free to email me at inzara at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching the video.